everybody and welcome to the Dallas airport so we just got here today actually starts off my line month so we are going to be starting on day one of a four day y'all know I don't usually do four days but this month I actually buddy bid with Jordan and we got a four day so I guess for her I'll be doing a four day but we're gonna go ahead get our stuff and get their security she's already here so once we do that we will meet up with her before we just work one flight today so we are going from Dallas to Orlando we have a 12 hour layover so today is our easiest day but let's go ahead get our stuff out and get inside Okay, you guys, while I go work my trip, I did want to take a moment to thank Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video, along with Bandy Boo down here. He's like, leave me alone, lady. Glasses USA offers prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off retail prices by cutting out the middleman. So GlassesUSA.com offers over 6,000 different styles of eyewear and sunglasses, every conceivable size, shape, color. If you're looking for it, they probably have it, including in-house brands like Amelia E and Muse, as well as designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Prada, Oakley, Fendi, and so many more. You can get a complete pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses starting at only $30. And free basic prescription lenses are included with every frame. You can also add any type of prescription lens to almost any single frame, including sunglasses but you're not gonna have to suffer any of the quality just for a good price point. GlassesUSA.com makes their lenses in their own state-of-the-art lab, so you can expect the same high quality that you get at any glasses store. And GlassesUSA.com offers you a risk-free shopping experience, so you will get free shipping and returns, 100% money back guarantee, with a full refund within 14 days, no questions asked, as well as a 365 day product warranty. So you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. So all of my glasses are prescription lenses as well as blue light blocking because like I told you in the past, I'm constantly working on my phone screen and my computer. I watch TV in the background. So I like to have a dual combination. But if you are worried about what the glasses are going to look like on your face, GlassesUSA.com also has a virtual mirror. So this allows you to upload a photo of yourself. You just move the crosses over your eyes and that way you can see exactly what any pair of glasses are going to look like on your face before you buy them. So if you guys want to check out any of the five pairs of eyeglasses or sunglasses that I have shown you today, be sure to go down to the link in my description box and click that below, or you can check out any of their 6,000 different styles in every color and shape that you are looking for. Thank you to GlassesUSA.com for constantly supporting me and my channel and for providing me with fabulous eyewear. And with that being said, let's get back into it. Orlando, Florida. So the airport was super cute. It's like all Disney and Christmas out, but we have finally made it to the hotel room. Our layover is just a little bit shorter. We had some issues at boarding, but we are here and I am living. Look at this room. I love that. That is so pretty. So since this is only a quick one, we're going to go ahead and get our stuff put away, get changed and get our food heated up. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten very much today, so I am ready for some food. So it doesn't look like there's a luggage rack, so we might just have to use this. So to eat, I actually have some chicken noodle soup left over. I ate half of it earlier with a side salad and I also have some pizza. Um, I love cold pizza. I don't know about y'all. And of course you can't eat pizza without ranch. Team ranch all the way. And then I have some crackers with my soup. That's pretty much all I brought. I tend to bring this and then some ice packs in case I end up getting food out and then I have leftovers. So this is going to be our very unusual dinner, but we're gonna make it work. 
One of the cool things I showed you guys about these is you can actually microwave these, you can heat them, you can put them in the oven. They're very cool. So on this trip, I brought my Hot Logic Mini. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and put the soup inside of it, heat my soup up and eat the pizza in the meantime. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. And this time I actually brought my laptop as well as shoes. If you know, you know. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on a video that I am finishing up and eat dinner. No, I don't care cause I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't. Stop, it is my time. You guys, I have been <laughs> I've been on TikTok trying to wait for this video to upload. It has been almost three hours and it's still only at 87%. Um, so right now it's 11.25, so I'm gonna go ahead and just call it. I'm gonna leave it on while I sleep um, because we are gonna need to wake up at 7.30. We are gonna have an 8.30 shuttle time. We're gonna be there a little bit early because the shuttle only runs every 30 minutes and we kind of just decided it was better to be a little early so we can all get coffee in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this up, put my tablet and my watch on the charger because for some reason I haven't done it yet. Usually that's like the first thing I do when I get to the rooms so we're gonna put that stuff on the charger and then I guess I am going to go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning Good morning, you guys. I am all dressed and ready to go. So today we are actually gonna be working two flights. We are going from Orlando. <laughs> I was like, where are we? We are going from Orlando to Dallas. We have a two and a half hour sit in Dallas before we go Dallas to Atlanta. And then we have, I think around another 12 hour layover tonight. Our nice long layover isn't until tomorrow. So another short one. We're getting to the airport a little bit early so that way we can get some coffee. I think the whole crew is coffee drinkers, which is very nice because I love to get my cup of joe in the morning. You guys know it. So I guess let's go ahead, get our stuff and get on out. <laughs> like a two, two and a half hour sit here before we go over to Atlanta. That's how you rock it, babe. So obviously we had to stop at the Starbs, got some coffee, I got a tea, and then we're gonna head over to the D Gates and find a place that I can hopefully try to upload that video since it wouldn't upload last night um, before we catch our next flight. So we came up to these little pod areas. I'm gonna try to get this video uploaded if I can while I drink my Starbucks and enjoy it. Kind of relax before we work one flight over to Atlanta. And then I think once we get to Atlanta, we're actually going to take an Uber into like closer to the city and find a cool place to eat and do something. It's gonna be short though, so we gotta make it like snappy. <laughs> I need to pee. Okay, so a little... <laughs> <laughs> 
so a little update my video uploaded right away we are all set um we're inching towards boarding time now so i think we're actually gonna pack up our stuff and head on out of here Okay, you guys, um, so a little bit of change of plans. Everybody kind of wanted to just wait until tomorrow because tonight is gonna be so short and I didn't realize we're gonna have an early wake up. So the van time is gonna be 6.45, which means we have a 5.45 a.m. wake up. So we're just gonna go over to Jordan's room and hang out for a bit and that's it. So here's our bathroom and then come over and we have this closet right here. And then just one big bed this time. And I don't know if we have a view. Let's see, what do you think? Do you think we have a view? Oh, uh, no, not really, sort of. Back to the same old ways. Yeah, I'm so done with you. You guys, I am rolling. Jordan just messaged me this. She said, you put your shoes in my bag. I didn't even realize my flight attendant heels are in her bag. I <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't even know. Like, I'm basically unpacked. Like, I'm mostly unpacked over there. And I didn't even notice my heels were not in there. So that's, <laughs> that's my bad. Sorry, girl. Um, but I guess let's get our salad. Because nothing says classy quite like um, slides and socks and a half-eaten salad. Um, and go over to her room for a bit. Hello. <laughs> Look what it is. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> so she started talking to me how she doesn't understand the true crime realm. <laughs> so she asked me to put on a true crime. So we are watching Bailey Sarian, the OG. If y'all guys like love true crime, I know y'all are gonna know who she is. So we're we're introducing her. She doesn't like to get scared on her layovers, but that's not how we operate. Y'all know I love a good true crime case on my layover. Spook me to death. Okay, you guys, it's 10.03. We were getting into the grub, watching some good old Whitney Simmons. Um, so now I guess I have to get to my room because we are gonna have, what was it, like a 5 a.m. wake up? It was like, what was the shuttle time? Six. 45. Yeah, so a 5.45 wake up. So um, I guess time to meander back down the hallway. Nothing but class around these here parts. All right, so we are back in our stomping ground now. Gotta kick off the class. So that was like super fun and cute. I swear I'm gonna like force her. Oh, it's already untucked. I'm gonna force her to buddy bid with me every month that I have a line up. <laughs> Be like, Jordan, you don't have a choice anymore. You're just gonna have to buddy bid with me. I know that you know I saw it. Your words like little knives. Part of me thought you would have fought it. Good morning, you guys. So right now it's about 5.30 in the morning. I just blew out my hair a little bit. So I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Today we are gonna be working at two flights. We are going from Atlanta to um, Dallas and then doing Dallas to Reno. I don't know what today is. I think that's right. I think today's just two flights. I think we go from here to Dallas. I guess I should have looked that up before, <laughs> before popping in here. I don't even know if we have a sit, but I know today is like our longer layover day. Um, so it looks like we are going from Atlanta to Dallas, 
There is a two hour ground set and then we do Dallas to Reno. So we'll get into Reno around 120 today and then we have a 15 and a half hour layover. So I know we'll get into something fun today. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and start doing our makeup and finish getting ready, pack up our stuff and then we will head on out of here. Hopefully there's somewhere to get coffee at the airport because your girl's struggling. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> So when you're leaving tomorrow, just give me something to hold on to from you. And I'm your genie in a bottle, and I know that you hold me close to you. Ooh, and I'll make all your wishes come true. Oh my gosh, I just realized like the clock in the room is not correct. So I'm glad I caught that right now, but my stuff is all packed up over there. I was like, where is it? Um, over there, so we're gonna go ahead and head downstairs now. I'm pounding upside to feeling down. Okay, you guys, so we have our coffees. We're officially kicking off day three. We actually moved on to the 737 instead of the Airbus, so I think we finished out the rest of the trip on the 73. So we are gonna work to Atlanta, and then I will see you guys in Dallas. There's stuff to be learned, but it to be turned, it seems. Yes, there is. You got to pay your dues. So we just landed from our flight. We were very turbulent. Um, so we have about a two hour set right now. So obviously we had to get some Starbucks and then we'll go on to Reno. So I got a passion tea for cat. <laughs> so Jordan just reminded me that we actually got Starbucks cards and I completely forgot. So I ended up just using my own, but I always, always love. You guys ask me sometimes about like what gifts to bring and I never expect anything, but chocolates and Starbucks cards are like the most common gifts I would say. My man sent me a birthday card oh, with an airplane on it. That is too. so cute. All right, so we are back on our plane. So now we are going to work our flight over to Reno. I don't know the flight time or anything yet. So let's go ahead and put our stuff up, do our safety checks, and I will see you guys when we land. You got to pay your dues. 